Hey brothers and sisters, are you tired of struggling with your porn addiction? Are you tired of fornicating with so many women or boys? Aren't you tired of that? But the thing is that when it comes when it comes to lust, especially for us believers, especially for people who struggle with like big time with porn addiction, um, here's here's the thing. The thing is, is that that is not yes. If there's external factors that may influence us to fall into lust, to watch to watch that that nasty nasty stuff, and to this day, I consider porn porn to be one of the most disgusting things I ever watched. But the thing is that it's not all about the external fa factors. It's all it's all about all about the mind, and the thing is what the external factors like women, social media, or magazines, or women where you're revealing clothing and you looking at them. Yes, it's not always about the external factors. It's all about how you receive it, how your mind receives it, receives it, receives it. And, and it's really up to you if you want your mind dwelling, dwelling on that, thinking about that. And wherever you think, Wherever so a man thinks, so is he. And if you're thinking, if you're consistently dwelling, dwelling on that, that that's that's probably what's triggered you to fall to lust. That's probably what's triggered you to go pick pick up the lotion, pick up the tissue, and go. <laughs> okay, that was cringe. But but seriously though. That's the reason you're, you're, you're beating your meat. That's the reason you're, you're going on, going to hub, hub, cause your mind is doling, doling on whatever you're looking, looking at. Right? It be social media, right? It be look at women, look very revealing clothing, or right? It be watching sex scenes, right? It be your parents, or, or your family member, watching some some sexual whatever it, it could probably be that and the the thing is that as a believer it's it is so important that we control our thoughts and that we control what comes in an hour of our mind and you know what they say you are what you consume the reason you're probably struggling with porn addiction is because there's certain things you, you're consuming on social media Social media, me show me media. You should be because of me. It's probably them girls you be you be following. It's probably your crush who you be following also. That's triggering triggering that that coin addiction. You, who knows? Everyone has different triggers, and the thing is that you need to add, if you wanna if you wanna conquer lust, if you wanna conquer your porn addiction, then you need to add, identify your triggers. Like think about it. What triggers what triggers you to go on the hub? What triggers you to be your meat? You need to identify your triggers. And if you and that trigger makes you do makes makes you mas masturbate or watch corn up, then you need you need to catch yourself. You seriously need to catch yourself in the act when you're about to do it. And the thing is that also most importantly, you need to have your mind on on Jesus Christ. That's that is very important as a believer. If you want to conquer lust, if you want to conquer your your lust addiction, you need to have your mind focused on Christ. And you need and the thing is, you need you need to run for lust, just like Joseph ran from from Potiphar, Potiphar's wife, because he was trying to honor God. You need, the thing is, you need to focus on on Christ, focus on honor, honoring God. And this is a mindset that every believer should strive to have when it when it comes to conquering certain things. And it says in Philippians chapter four verses eight, it says, "Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are are honest, whatsoever things are just, and whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise." Think on these things. And this is the mindset that God calls us to have as believers. 
And this, and not only should we think out those things, but we should have a mind focused on Christ. And no matter what, and and we need to be, and we need to be like Peter. He wasn't perfect, but the thing is that we need to keep our eyes on Christ, and we need to take the eyes off, off of the, the social media, off the girls, you know, doing yada yada. We need to take our mind off of looking at looking at women, constant, constant, constant. Take your take your eyes off the only fans, and take your and and put. And take your focus on Christ. That's what's gonna help you conquer your lust. And the thing is, when your mind is focused on Christ, ain't you? You ain't worrying. You ain't worrying about about the the OnlyFans. You ain't worrying about the social media. You ain't worried about about the OnlyFans. You ain't worry about 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 girlfriend, 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 girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. You ain't worried about that. <laughs> and because your mind is on Christ. And that's what and that's what's giving you peace. And when you have peace, you aren't worried. You aren't anxious. Probably said it wrong. <laughs> but seriously though, it's so important that when it comes to conquering lust or any or any other sin in general. It all, it all starts with this. It all starts, it all starts with the mind. Choose my birds. Noisy as ever. And think, think that's about it. We need, we, we like as believers, we need to train our minds. We need to train, train our mind to have, a, to be a righteous mind, the mind that Christ Jesus have. And there's this, this part, there's like a song about it. But if you want to conquer, conquer lust, if you want to conquer addiction, one of the most important things that you need to do is, is, is train your mind to be righteous and focus on Christ and think on other on things, on things that are virtuous. And one of, one of the key things to have a mind like that is by praying. So we could have a communication with God, have a relationship with Him, which is key, and also be in the Word of, word of God. And whatever and whatever is causing you to fall into lust, you need to cut it off. You need to stop watching the social. You need, you need to get off of social media. You need to, you need to, um, you, if you have social media for business or whatever, I understand. But you need to follow those girls that be be showing it, that be. Showing their body on social media, you need you need to unfollow them or delete social media. Also, get off of Oily fans. Like, come on now. That li that lady that lady you try and try and please that that lady you you try and pay and or matter of fact that lady you be watching you be watching on Twitch. She, she just, she don't, she doesn't even know you exist, bro. Like, she don't. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to break, burst your bubble, but she don't know you exist. Like, it doesn't matter how, how, much, how much money you donate. They ain't, they ain't gonna help you, they ain't gonna help you win it over. I mean, it, it ain't gonna help. And that's, and that's. And the reason you even you probably even donating, not not a supporter, but you just being a simp. You just hoping you probably you 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 could win over by giving the biggest donation, by wasting all that money, by wasting all that money on all the fans. You need you need to cut that out. You need to cut out the Twitch if you're gonna if you're gonna watch female streamers and waste all your money on them. You need to cut that out and all the fans. And cut out, cut out the corn addiction. Cut, out, cut out the corn, or don't even, don't even go, don't even go on on technology at all. Don't even go on the internet at all. Take a break from the internet. Heck, do that instead. And if you feel feel ready, feel ready, feel like feel like you 
you're ready to go back to the internet, then hey, go back to it. But if you find yourself self-triggered do, doing it again, remember, stay focused on Christ, no matter what. Hope this helps you come to your lust. So important that we have a righteous mind. Till then, don't be delicious. Follow Christ.